Hello YouTube, B3, you're back in the kicking action figure review. Uh, today's review, pretty cool one. We have the Marvel Legends Green Goblin from the Sandman Build-A-Figure Wave. Very nice, very happy to have it. Uh, I just want to apologize for my voice and the occasional cough in this video. I am getting over a sickness. Today's the first day I feel well enough to even talk enough to do one of these videos. My throat actually still hurts, but... I do it for you guys. I love you so. Yeah, I got these guys shortly after they came out. Uh, Walgreens. I got the whole wave all at once. Very cool. The Green Goblin's really nice. I figured they'd make him. Uh, I was very happy about it when they announced him back at Comic-Con, I believe. But, yeah. Uh, he's a lot of the same parts from the Hobgoblin from the previous wave of this one. Spider-Man wave, anyways which would have actually been the Space Venom wave. Called that Build-A-Figure, by the way. Didn't call Sandman, but uh, it's pretty cool, too. And, uh, yeah, so Green Goblin, new head sculpt, all kinds of cool new stuff. Green, purple, classic Green Goblin look. Uh, I'll show you articulation first. Head all the way up like that. Down, you got side-to-side -side action. You can cock him to the side, too. That's pretty neat. Uh, up and down on the arms, forward and back. You have a bicep swivel, double elbow bend, which is pretty cool. You, this kind of wobbles around, but I wouldn't call it articulation so much. Uh, I don't know what to say. Now you got forward and back on the wrists and a swivel on the wrists. Uh, you have an ab crunch forward like that. Back pretty far, detailed all the way up. Waist swivel, as you can clearly see. In and out on the leg, forward and back, you have a thigh swivel, you have a double knee bend, you have a ankle rotation, and a forward and back, as well as an ankle pivot. That's not an ankle rotation, that's a boot rotation. But yeah, you, sorry. I'm sick. And it's also 2 in the morning, because I couldn't sleep. But, <coughs> yeah. Green Goblin, very chief, very ace. Cool. Now I'm going to show you his accessories. First up, these aren't really his accessories, uh, but they are for the Sandman Build-A-Figure. You get this head, and also this really cool interchangeable head. Definitely will be displaying Sandman of this one. Very cool, very unique. But yeah, they're really nice. Here's our Green Goblin with a pumpkin bomb. We've gotten this pumpkin bomb a few times. I believe we got one with Jack-O-Lantern. We got it with... The most recent single carded hobgoblin, the build a figure hobgoblin. And uh, this is the first one that's been painted like this. They're normally just clear and orange, but this one is painted orange, and then it has this green fire about it, and uh, the mouth and eyes are also green. See that? This is the first one that's painted up like this. I guess I just wanted to make it a little different for us. Also, the hobgoblin, this guy has mostly the same accessories as the hobgoblin. But uh, the Hobgoblin had an extra head, and this guy doesn't. So I guess they painted this up to kind of make up for that, so it wouldn't really feel like you're getting less with this Goblin. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I like it. They also included a glider with this Green Goblin. So you can, uh... You see him rolling. He gliding. You know that he's on his way to kill Spider-Man. He's gonna kill Spider-Man. He's gonna kill Spider-Man. He's gonna kill Spider-Man and maybe help kill Gwen Stacy. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. The glider itself, very nice look. You know, you got the classic head on it. Uh, it's kind of bends, so that way it's not, uh, it's more durable this way. It's not as fragile. Which is very cool. His feet fit in it just fine. Nice little glider. I won't be displaying him with it, but, like, it just saves room. But I'm, like, a goblin without a glider, it's dumb. No, I mean, the Build-A-Figure Hobgoblin didn't come with a glider, but that's because he has wings that he flies with. But this guy, he needs to come with his glider. I mean, if he doesn't, it's just kind of... Like, why? Why? But I mean, like, yeah, he's a good figure, cool accessories, you know, standard articulation, and just good detail and paint. You know, really awesome head sculpt. Got his knapsack, which is, even has a painted buckle. Very shiny green scales all over and stuff. I mean, he's a very nice figure. Now for our size comparisons. Here he is with a couple figures from the same wave, Sandman wave. Here on the left, Miss Marvel, and on the right, Spider-Man 2099. And they're showing with a Bucky cap. 
uh, mold. Here on the left from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave, we have Deadpool. And on the right from the Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave, just to show them with the movie figure, we have the MCU Ant-Man. Here we have a couple Marvel figures from other manufacturers. On the left, the Toy Biz Carnage. And on the right, the Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Ultron. So what are my final thoughts on the Marvel Legends Sandman Build-A-Figure Wave Green Goblin figure? I can dig it. I really like this guy. That is a freaky head sculpt. Love that head sculpt. Very happy to have this look for Green Goblin. I have a few Green Goblins, but none of them are like this traditional comic style. Like I have a Sam Raimi movie Green Goblin. I have Ultimate Green Goblin. I have things like that. Uh, but I don't have a Green Goblin like this. And I'm very happy to add him to my Goblins. Because they have a couple of Goblins, Jack Lantern, uh, and as I said, other Green Goblins and stuff. But... I mean, this is just classic, guys. Very classic. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll be seeing you all later.